Hey everybody and welcome to my X-Files today. I've got a my new Buster's magazine. It's the October issue, issue number 823. So we'll be taking a look at this. So big thing is of course new Zebra 2 scheme. But of course it's rollout progress and figures are examined in this. And of course talk about retro stuff and how McGill's City Swift from the Mid Bluebird begins. So first things first is offering rescue to retail workers which really this is mainly based to a uh, eye to Wilco that's beginning to shut down. All that all that stuff is supposed to that it buses are like trying to advertise to Wilco work ex Wilco workers to try and join the bus industry. So it's like former stagecoach director slams on the Liverpool franchising for some unknown reason. Of course, demand response to trans. Yeah, more de demand response to transport in Wiltshire and Cheshire, less in Leicester. Well, I know about the Wiltshire one because that's the Wiltshire Connect stuff. Some more bus service improvement pa plan fund free fares. So some places are funding free fares with their bus service improvement plans, which is cool. Essex, cons Essex consults on cutbacks because, well, all to say is that the South East is definitely having problems with their bus services at the moment, really. So I'm not surprised. Neutral sim roof contracts. Message quality. Transdev placing a North Yorkshire Zebra order, and that's for the Harrogate Bus Company. So definitely know that about Mercedes Benz Easter Tires and Lights and Death and Barrow 400 EVs. Kind of being built to join the 7900 electrics. Birmingham's green bus withdraws at short notice. And of course, of course, uh, a lot of people in the Wales are starting to get a little bit angry with the, uh, or show fury at the 20 mile per hour default speed limit because of what how it would affect the buses and all that lot. And of course, we got some bus drivers of the year, but the truth is, it goes this time to National Express West Midlands. Oh dear. Oh dearie dearie me. Stagecoach South West. Shuts bases and wins some contracts, but the contracts are the upside. The shutting of, of some outstations is the boo. English Riviera sightseeing tours ceased. That was part of the bus, boat, and train and steam train tour services. Not bad. It's sorry, I mean it's bad. Somerset saves services in Cornwall contract confusion. Hmm. Interesting. The 
blind reading and partially sighted. <laughs> don't know what that means. Yeah, of course, it's your over the seas stuff. But I know that Bus World 2023 is supposed to come to one of the one of the uh, overseas cities in Europe. So the truth is electric bus is dominating tender awards, but this is transport for London stuff right here. But bus breakdowns double in three years. Not good. Cromwell Road rebuilt starts. They're supposed to and further he throw improvements go live as a Board cross border links restored. So London gets the thousand zero emission bus. So they're doing quite well in the capital, but the thing is, is that they need to think about outside helping outside the capital as well a bit more. Superloop and Knight bus expansion. With Vector bus by Central Connect. And here we go. Wilco staff recruits. So, yeah, trying to help the uh, ex Wilco people get jobs in the bus industry at least. Equip mate to repair eight Newport transport double deckers. Well, wow. I've seen this. They're going to be doing those to Alexander Dennis in Bar 400s and some roll right body of Volvo B5LHs. Alexander Dennis secures a new sales director from Wright Bus. And I guess this is before they. Bring out these bad boys, the Alexander Dennis Enviro 400 EV, which I can't wait to actually see. But the thing is, it'll be on media only for the first time, and also Alexander Dennis Enviro 500s and 100s will also come out as well. So, Wigan's being franchised, but I believe that's part of the B network stuff. If anything, yeah, there's a lot talking about that. That's preserving a lot of. Preserved buses. And yeah, talk about Zebra because Zebra 2 scheme is actually un is actually gonna be beginning to under be go underway. So next month's buses magazine B network launches or change at Nottingham Transport and news from the north. But the thing is, there is supposed to be an Alexander Dennis Enviro 400 EV, Alexander Dennis Enviro 100 EV, Alexander Dennis Enviro 500 EV, and a Utong U11 double deck that's supposed to come out really very soon. Oh, Nottingham Sea Transport in the Metro Utong fleet as well. Cool. And of course, that, which is 
buses best for 2023 so looks like they've got a pretty number of our buses from retro 1960s to modern times so we'll be going around certain place by bus That's the fleet news this month. We know that Newport joins the fixed bus network with over 9,700. So this is all your fleet news, which from A to Z including pictures so you can read on whichever bus group that your that your buses might affect oh that's surprising look at that new Yutong GT12 Turns of Harrow World in the Victoria to Liverpool service. That's something that hasn't been told, I think. I can't remember. But of course. My stuff would actually goes on with the Stagecoach West stuff. So that's all sort of the stuff from England and Wales, and of course, they do very quick Scotland based stuff. Well, I know that in either the next issue or the issue after, I'll talk about the Alexander Simbaro. The new Alexander Simbaro 100, 400, and 500 EVs. But they will also talk about the Utong U11 double deck as well, because that'll be new to, uh, to, uh, the, to the United Kingdom. So, yeah, that's everything that we have covered so thank you for watching my x-files and i will see you again next time slug it.